Sorry about that. Had to dust these off. It's been that long. Ah, uh, geez, it's been a while, hasn't it? Whew. Well, I'm out on a mission. So there you go. Getting in amongst it. Going to try and get a video out at least once a week for you. Um, yeah, just been a bit slack, to be honest. Sorry. Bit of sickness. Uh, a few things in the background been going on, but uh, we're all sorted. We're out there. We're in amongst it. Um, but yeah, got some uh, bit of exciting news on the next step to show you. Um, or share with you anyway. But until then, uh, this is a bit of footage from probably a couple of months ago. I uh, went out, got a bit of a feed, had a cook up. It was a good all around day. Uh, but other than that, sorry it's been a while. We're back at it. Let's get in amongst it. For now, I'm going to find a crab. She's on. Righto. Welcome back to another rep. So, it's going to be a really quick one, this one. Um, what we have is chicken legs and four crab pots. Um, we've copped a lot of rain, a lot of rain over the last, oh, God knows, a couple of months. But, um, yeah, we're going to go try for some crabs. So we've just got two chicken legs in each pot. We've got four pots. So we'll give it a 24-hour soak um, and see how it goes. So let's get in amongst it and see how we go. Let's go. All right. So Maddie's been a good girl, so she can come along for the ride. Thank you. But we'll head out. We'll give it a go. Throw them four pots out. Hope for a crab. One can only hope. Fingers crossed. All right, let's go. All right. Long story short, Mr. Tide. Someone else's crab pot. Don't know whose that is. They've got another one around there. And I've chucked one up there. Totally Mr. Tide. Um, anyway, as you can tell, boxy season so i don't really want to be cruising through there plus crocs so i've chucked one up in here the steel one got a round one up there and another round one i'll throw down further down the road so that's all we can do but you never know you never know we'll give it a go all right that's it last one so um give that a go i guess not much else we can do like i said the tide's a bit high but you never know We'll give it a go. Ooh, nearly fell. Anyway, let's keep going. Actually, 24 hour soak. I'll see you in the morning. See how we go. Righto, four pots out. Poor Maddie had to stay in the car. I got the wrong boots for her. I actually got my oldest daughter's one. <laughs> She's definitely not gonna fit. What do you reckon? Four, tell you have a go. Four pots, miss the tide, wrong spots. We'll just see how we go. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Pick them up. Righty ho, it is the next day. Um, two seconds for you, 24 hours for me. But anyway, we're heading out now. See if we can't um, get a crab in these crab pots. So, yeah, with a bit of luck, we scored one and job on. We'll have a feed. Let's get to it. All right, we're here. No secrets to where we are. We'll go down and have a look at the first pot, see how we go. Well, the pot's still there, so that's a good sign. Doesn't look like anything in it. Just grab the pliers and we'll get down and have a look. So, pot one here, no good. But, that side there seems to be flat for some reason. I don't understand why. And the chicken's been eaten. But yeah, anyway, we'll go to the next one, have a look. Anyway, pot one, no good, three left. Look like crabs been digging in here. In the feet mark. I don't know if you can see that, but you never know. You never know. Maybe up under there. Anyway, this is the second pot. Oh, hello. Hello. Look at that. Well, well, well. Pot two. Two bucks. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Still alive. He's alive. Yeah, they're alive. Don't forget your iron bark. Oh, he's cranky. Oh, yes! We're having a feed tonight. 
Whoa! Cranky. All right, let's go check this other pot, eh? It's just around the corner here. Off to a good start. Yes. Well, this is just a little bit sketchy. It's really shallow for ages. Like, I don't know if you can see, there's a little mangrove root there. It's only about a foot deep for a long way. So I don't have to really worry about crocs. Oh, you'd see them coming anyway. Anything decent. But the box jellies, on the other hand, a different story. Oh, little crab there. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that. No. Oh, here's my other pot, and it looks like it has been smashed by a croc. Yes! That's what we want. Someone else's crab pot. It's an old one. No bait in it. Look at this. There's a few holes in this bad boy. The bait's still in there. But yeah, big hole in the top. Look. And, uh, oh, little crab in there. Little Jenny. And the other pot is up there. It looks like it's been pumped too. We might actually just walk up and grab it. <sighs> Leave that one there. Walk up to this other one. Just gotta be careful of box jellies. Anyway, I'll uh, turn you back on when I get close to it, but it looks like this one's been hit by a uh, croc too. Pretty safe to say that's been done by a croc. She is torn up. Still seen a little crab hole in there. Yeah. That's um not what oh look. You can see all the croc feet. I don't know how good you can see that. You can see where he's been in here, tearing it up. All right. Tore the rope off the top. Big hole in it. Like, there's no coming back from that. She's done. She is done. Well, lucky I uh, put that metal pot in, eh? Got to have two crabs in there. It is what it is. But you know what? We've got two good bucks. So let's go back, rescue them, cook ourselves a feed. So I got all our pots back here. Just give you a better look. That one's just torn, torn to shreds. Torn right open, it is. Absolutely nothing left of it. This one here's got a nice big old hole in the bottom. And a little. Oh, a little. Bo oh, it's a Jenny. A little Jenny. So we'll get her out. Get her free. Where are you? There she is. Let her walk off. Don't go that way. There she goes. She's free. Off you go. Anyway, so she's free. She's off. Off to fight another day. Hopefully breed up a little bit more. Now we'll get these big bad boys. Have a look at this. Whoa. Whoa. He's cranky. Old mate on the back there. He's got both snap nippers, so he can't do razo to ya. This bloke here, he's fiery. We'll have to check him. He might be a little bit green. But we'll check him in a minute. Um don't know if we can check through here. I might be able to have a quick look. A little geese. Oh no, he's hard. He's solid. Have a go at it. Oh, he's fiery. To be totally honest, there's been that much wind, rain, everything around. I didn't think we were gonna do it. We pretty much had a cyclone just bypasses. Uh got strong winds off it, heaps of rain, absolutely heaps of rain, but yeah, it's what um March, mid-March or something. And uh, we're getting crabs, like, unexpected. Out in the headlands, but, mind you. So, um, not up the creeks. Normally they push out of the creeks because of the fresh water. But yeah, we got them. We got, oh, we got two. Two absolute beauties. He is fiery. Like, he is ready to destroy someone. Anyway, two um, wrecked pots. They're obviously going to go in the bin or be used for spares now. They're f stuffed. And uh, we'll, yeah, get these home and cook up a feed. 
These are our two bucks here. Good looking ones too. He is fiery, that bloke. I can't get over it. So that's them. This bloke here is fiery. Loves a good brawl. Have a go at this bloke's nippers. What's left of them? So we just grab these blokes here. And then. So all we'll do is just grab these blokes here. Like this. Put them in the ice. Keep them nice and cool. There we go. That's it. Them. Let them cool down for a bit, then we'll get on the cooking part. But look at that. You! He is fiery. So, we're just about to cook. Cook the crabs, but just to give you a rough idea again. That's that fella. And that's the little fella. So, well and truly in. Trust your iron bark. And the dirty oil. So, this is our two crabs here, all cooked. So that brings us to here where we are now. And what we're gonna do is just peel these bad boys and clean them. So I'll quickly do that. We'll throw the meat into a nice tub. And then once we get all the meat out of the crab, um, yeah, Matty's gonna cook us a nice recipe. Are you gonna tell them what we're cooking? What are we cooking? Crab pockets. Crab pockets. <laughs> crab pockets on the Weber. On the Weber on the, the web of this one changing right. it up a little bit this time doing a little bit something different right. see how it turns out currently tried so stick with us and um yeah we'll see how this turns out should be good <laughs> all right i'll get peeling peeled so now some nice heat beads in there chuck our stone on 
give that about 20 minutes to heat up and we'll whip up some um, crab pockets. Should be good. Should be amazing. All right. So what's going on here? We're just making the bread. You're making the dough. Dough. So what do you got? So I've got plain flour. One cup flour. So I'm going to use one cup. One cup flour. And one third. Yeah, that's about it. And you got? Baking powder. Baking powder. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon. Sugar. We're using brown sugar. Sugar, brown sugar. Three quarters of a teaspoon. <laughs> I don't know why you like your backup voice or what. <laughs> um, two teaspoons of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, guys. Vegetable oil. And then we are going to put half a cup of tap water. And mix it through. Mix it in. If it's too sticky, add more flour. Obviously, you're going to need your hands for this. Oh, she's double dipping in the flour. Yeah, it's a bit too sticky for my wife. It's a good bite. Coming together. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so she's kneading that. Looks really good. Right. So it's together. Perfect. That's it. There's your dough. There's your dough. Let that rest for a good half or so. Oh no, we're not even gonna let it rest. Bugger it. We're into it. No, we're into it. Straight into it. Flatten him out. Cut him up. I don't know what we're gonna do next. We haven't figured that out yet. All right, let's do it. All right. All right. So she's rolling. She's rolling it out. They're gonna have to be a little bit smaller, what? I don't know. Oh no, that'll be right. Yep. Alright, so we're back. So we've got jasmine rice. Yep. Chuck him in. This is the filler. The pocket. Then we've got mushroom. Oh uh, onion, mushroom and um parsley. Parsley. Put that in. We have passage to India. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Pour him in. All right. All right. Hang on. We've got one ingredient. And our crab. So scary. See? That's scary. That's scary. Um, that yeah, that'll do for now, yep. Perfect. Alright. Okay, and then we give him a mix. Mix. Mix it up. So mix him in. That looks really good. Alright. Alright. No cheese. Got a bit of cheese on there, I reckon. Just our little pockets, just a little bit. Yep. Hey, little thief. <laughs> Put our filler in. Good for filler. That's heaps, heaps. And a little bit more cheese, I reckon. Mm. Got the salt and pepper too. There we go. Wait, it wasn't even open. Oh, you, yeah, you try opening it first, though. <laughs> nah. That's it. 
All right, now the fold, here we go. And then probably just trim off the excess, I reckon. You need a bit of water. Mm. A bit of water to stick it. Mm. Mm. I need to get water. All right, we're back with water. Right, we're back. Just put a bit of water on there. Oh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna just, oh. just gonna get the fork, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Trim off that excess a lot. It's huge. Now what I'd be doing. Because that's not filler there. I'd cut that through there. Oh, he's giving me directions. Yeah. Well. Give me directions. There's a big hunk of bread there that we don't need. There you go. Like that, good sir? Yeah. Oh, well done. Oh, oh, oh I'm not doing it properly. <laughs> oh, he wants it folded. Sorry. We're having a. It's turning into a pasty here. Yeah. There you go. That'll look. Okay. And then just fork him, fork him from there. He's taken over, guys. <laughs> it's literally taken over. I like right. it. Now I've got just vegetable oil in here. A little bit of veggie oil. Baste him. Just there you go. Give him a brush. Mmm, so looks nice. That looks like an avocado. That's perfect. Amazing. Alrighty. Then we can send it. Yeah, we'll do another one up and then we'll, we'll do the next step. Alright. A little bit of flare on there so it doesn't stick. We need more or do you that's enough? You don't want to stick. No more. Beautiful. Can I please Here we watch? go. Now slip it over. Alright, uh, it's a bit I didn't anticipate, so let's see how it goes. Well done. Looks like a treat. Looks like candy. Right, please stay one. with us for more tips and tricks. <laughs> The first for us, but we'll give it a go. Oh, <laughs> crab pockets, crab pasties, we should call it. <laughs> yeah. All right, that stone should be up to temperature now. Look at that. On she goes. Beautiful. I'm gonna chuck the lid on. We'll just give that as long as it needs, I guess. I reckon about 15 minutes. Huh? I reckon about 15 minutes. 15? Alright. Check it after 10. Yeah, we'll have a beer in the meantime. See how it goes. Alright, I think we've run into some issues. And that is burning. So, I'm just going to flip them. Know about that one might leak at the top might leave that one so we're just flipping them a little bit so we don't want them burnt might be a little bit too hot under there i don't know <laughs> hmm. she's a hot day today all right so i reckon they're probably pretty well done Whee. actually look really good and our little ball here How's that? that is amazing <laughs> well we said it was gonna be Crab pockets, but I think it's crab pasties. What do you reckon? They look good though. Oh yeah, they look good. Right oh, no. Here's the verdict, ready? Good start. Oh wow. How's that? 
They are crab pockets for sure. How is that? That is amazing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh. Alright, you ready? Ready. Delishima. <coughs> Shit. Must be hot. Give it a go. I better not burn my mouth, I swear to God. No, it's not even hot. No! I've got it! What's going on? Sounds like the best. It's actually weirdly good. So there you have it. Oh, it's too hot. <laughs> a 24 hour soak, two nice muddies, cooked them up, turned them into crab pockets. Give it a go. Get onto it. <laughs> See you on the next episode. Please like, subscribe, share with all your mates. And remember, the dirty all. Don't forget them. Get on them. Actually, we'll put a link in the description to get onto their website or whatever. Yes. Yeah? Maddie, you know how to do that? Yeah. Alright. Maddie will sort it out. Get onto them. Best apparel ever. Can't go wrong. Thanks, guys. There you have it. That's it. Crab pockets. Get onto them. See you on the next one. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> Still going. It's good, man. Give it a go. Alright, one more time for the record, here we go. <laughs> Probably one of the best dishes I've ever done. It's beautiful. What do you reckon? Yep. <laughs> it's amazing. Give it a go. Oh! I see the steam coming out when you opened it. <laughs> Come on, come on. <laughs> Give it a go, you mob. That's perfect, though. Oh, it's primo. It is. That'll be a good one for our camping and camp up and something. Yep. Anyway, see you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>